Company performance, every one of our staff members sees how we're doing, how many accounts we added today, how many accounts we have as of this moment. Um, and that's not something that we hide. We, we try not to hide anything from staff members. I want them to know that we're doing well. And if we're not doing well, we need to all get together and uh, find a solution. So I, I, I've got a lot of feedback from our staff where you know they're happy with the number of accounts that we're adding. Or we're like, hey, what happened to the accounts today? And I, and I want to see that because that shows that they're invested in the company. Uh, uh, staff feedback, we take that very seriously. Once again, when, you, when you're not going to an office and you need to know that you're part of an organization, um, if somebody brings something up to me, I try my hardest to implement it as quickly and as best as possible. Uh, to most important aspect of any organization, virtual or not, is obviously communication. And we use Skype as the first method of communication. Everybody's on their Skype, I'm always on my Skype. And my staff know that they can always get a hold of me through Skype. Call me on Skype and I'm not there, it goes to my cell phone. So it, it's, uh, it's one of those things where as soon as a staff member comes on board, they add everybody on their Skype. And we, have a, we have a log of what everyone's Skype addresses are. Um, and that way, if I wasn't involved in bringing that person on board, I get to know them right away and they know that they can always approach me. Um, TeamSpeak, uh, we implemented it about uh, a couple months ago and it's, and it's been great help. What happens is we have different channels and it's quite, kind of hard to see, but we have a AM shift, PM shift, and night shift, and, and obviously reviews, they, they weigh heavily. The important part of this whole thing is that score, because when you go out to a staff room and you say, I want all this done, and you're not face to face, uh, it doesn't really stick. But when you have just one score, uh, one number that they pay attention to, when tomorrow their number isn't at where they'd like it to be, they try to figure out why. And that that goes back into the ignore tickets, my tickets, and reviews. So it, it keeps them engaged in what we feel is important for them. And at, uh, obviously, as a hosting company, aside from our staff members, the second most important thing is our servers. And uh, when you are in an environment, like for example, I, I was visiting Bluehost office, they do have their server off time on, on, on monitors. We can't possibly do that because everybody's from home, they're working from home. So we make sure that everybody is aware of what's going on with the servers. Um, and this is displayed like right when they log in. So they can see where all the issues are as soon as they, they, they clock into work um, and can see that we're doing something about it. Because when you work in chats, obviously, uh, you, you can't you know, jump on a server and fix it yourself. But you want to know that your company and your operation is there to support you. When you go down, like for example, here, these are tickets. Each ticket is a certain bar, and if you have overlapping tickets, like for example, we, we think it's going to take 10 minutes to resolve tickets, that's 10 minutes. If you have overlapping, you're doing more than, more than one ticket at a time, 10 minutes, it gets darker and darker. But you can kind of see, for example, if I'm the shift manager in the morning, and I go through and at uh, 12, I see there's a huge gap there, I can approach that in individual right away. And it's really important to do that, because if you're not keeping people accountable right on the spot, there's two things that are happening. One, you're losing their trust. Your They're public. thinking you don't know. Forums in your public or your public or your staff. Forums in your public KB for your staff to see to use to learn. And, uh, it's a staff. Just the staff, sorry. And, uh, it's staff, sorry. and uh, is it just the right that they're handholding? So how much do you actually train them or when they're started, they just kind of release the wolves. You say, okay, this is where your information's going to be. And so take sure, it from there and uh, you need you know, to find it for you. So I'm sure, uh, you know, both experience you with such items as well. I think we both experience uh, the same so issues when it comes to retention of staff. Um, and so uh, there is a time period that we still do that. We have a training period where uh, you know, they only put notes on tickets, for example, for, for a while. You know, um, and it's only kind of evaluate that. Really you know, it's, you know, it's only a week or two. And a week or two doesn't really teach you everything there is to know, especially when you're doing .NET hosting. Uh, Linux. So, yeah, I don't think we can be uh, not a single uh, person who knows how to do Linux and uh, and how to so, uh, in those uh, uh, past that two So uh, when a past that two weeks period is when they uh, kind of release them to the whole staff, staff, staff per se, uh, and and their that your staff form to and their ability to uh, troubleshoot. That's the right employee that we want, uh, and that's the right employee that we want for for long term when it comes to remote work.